We got Jesus as a woman on the cross, a woman in skin-tight yoga pants dancing on stage, parading around during a Easter service, so-called. These are the times that we're living in, people. These are the times that we're living in. A man by the name of Mike Todd, apparently from Tulsa, Oklahoma, has a church. He hired Carl Lentz, former Justin Bieber adulterer, pastor, who was accused in 20, actually admitted in 2020 that he was cheating on his wife, adulterous relationship. Uh, Not only that, the guy's worldly, talks worldly, looks worldly, acts worldly, but calls himself a Christian. He's a goat. Yeah, he's part of this uh, church here, Transformation Church in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and that he was helping with the production of this Easter play that depicted women on stage bouncing around in yoga pants and, and skin-tight leather pants. And, you know, you had people, um, they were rapping, and they had a woman, Jesus, on the cross. And it was just, it was it straight away from what we would normally call a traditional Easter service. Put it like that. But the question is, why is it that these pastors are choosing to just divert away from the norm? from the standards that have been set, dismiss the scriptures and choose to put on their own things seeking to entertain. I believe in one quote, the pastor said, we're going to put on a play that's just short of sin. We want to be edgy. We want to be on the edge. We don't want the traditional type of service where he rose from the grave, but we want something just short of sin. That's what Mike Todd said. Just short of sin. What next? What are they going to do next to entertain people and to get them to make a decision for Christ? Birds of a feather flock together. If it walks like a goat, if it looks like a goat, it is a goat. We're living in some very serious times where the devil is going to be out to deceive. Now, we're not here calling the work of God of the devil. We're not doing that. But at what cost to try to share a message? What about just preaching and teaching the word of God? Why does it have to include such worldliness we have to be alert we do have to be alert what are they going to come up with next what are they going to do next for shock value what is it going to be next now they have a female jesus and he he said that he's not he's just going to stop short of sin to try to get the message across is that what the bible tells us to do just stop short of sin to get the message across. If these people live like the world, they talk like the world, they look like the world, they act like the world, and then they call themselves Christians. <laughs> That's just the most amazing thing to me. You know, they're not fooling anyone. They surely ain't fooling God. They are not fooling God. Many of these people are just goats. Going through the motions, and you know, they say they said a sinner's prayer and they go to church and uh, they're part of a church program or a member. But in their lifestyle, what they allow, what they condone, what they support anti God, anti Christ things, ungodly things. But then they call themselves Christians. We deal with these people all the time. That is why that scripture is so impacting, Revelation 3.16. I would that you were hot or cold. And people try to dismiss that and say, well, brother, that's just talking about the, you know, the spring waters or the waters in that in that time that, you know, some waters were lukewarm. And, you know, it's just it's just talking about God saying that he wants hot or cold water, not lukewarm water. The point is, is that God requires hot or cold water, but he doesn't want lukewarmness. You can call it the waters of that time in Jerusalem that flowed through the city and try to dismiss away the fact 
that God will spew out the lukewarm, whether it's water, and we know God is not talking about literal water. He's not drinking water to soothe himself. No, he's using that as a, as a type of picture and telling us that if you're hot, you're on fire, you're for God, you're doing his will, you're walking worthy of the vocation wherewith you have been called. If you're cold, you're a ranked sinner, you're lost, you're wayward, you're away from God. I would that you were either hot or cold. If you're hot, you're on God's side. He has you, right? If you're cold, at least he can attempt to reach out to you because you're lost and you can be found. You can be pulled in as a new believer. But if you're lukewarm, if you're right in the middle and you think you are neither uh, cold and you don't want to be too hot, legalistic, I don't want to be one of those legalistic type Christians, I'm just going to stay right here in the middle. Now, I don't want to uh, display standards. I don't believe we, we should have standards. You know, I'm a believer. I said a sinner's prayer. I go to church. But I dress like the world. I talk like the world. I look like the world. I engage in worldly behaviors and actions. I'm right here in the middle. I don't want to be too cold. I don't want to be too hot. But I'm right here in the middle. And Jesus Christ will accept me lukewarm lukewarm god will spew out the lukewarm you hired carl lentz jesus christ is coming for a church without spot wrinkle or blemish he's not coming for this half baked half sold out worldly looking so-called church he will spew them out of his mouth. And this Todd character has done a pretty good job in watering things down uh, to so-called get the message across. Let's see if it holds up on the day of judgment. Let's see if it holds up on the day of judgment. That's when everything is going to be tried. That's why it's time for us to make changes now. Come out from among them, be ye separate, saith the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you and be a father unto you. It's getting bad, these end times, people. It's getting bad. Like Todd said, we're going to put on an event that's edgy, that falls just short of sin. Lukewarm. Until next time.